Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. It's a different kind of a video today. Look right there. Oh, it's a blank space on my driveway. You know what that means? Time to get a car. <laughs> All right, so we're inside the uh, Mercedes C-Class that I've got. I have to go actually pick up a truck and a car dolly because we are headed to Tulsa today. We have an old car, <gasps> kind of older than other cars that I have, a lot older than cars that I have. So let's have some fun. Let's go pick up this car. Any guesses what it might be? Hmm. Stay tuned and you'll find out. All right, here it is. Take a look. This is a 2018, I think, Ford F-150. I've never had a pickup truck, so we're going to see what it's like to drive. But look back there. See, I don't even know if you can see it. Yep, there's a little car dolly back there. So we're headed east. I had to think about that one. We're going east to pick up a car. What kind of a car is it going to be? Well, it is a gentleman's car. It's been called a stately car. I've already given you one clue. It's an old car. And it's a car that Johnny Carson had for a while. For the young folks, you might want to Google him. For old people like us, you know who he is. And you probably know what kind of car it is now. All right, we're going to go east, old man, to see what this car is like and hopefully bring it home. Let's have some fun. Okay, so we just left Oklahoma City and I thought I would give every one a view of uh, what life is like in Oklahoma. They say that it's a flat land. Part of it is, but we do have some nice rolling hills. I think it's a gorgeous state. And if you look closely at the dirt, you know, Oklahoma is the red man state. It's also the state of red dirt. You get to central Oklahoma and the dirt is actually, <clears throat> excuse me, red. It's very, very red. Now where we're headed, the dirt turns black and it's a little more uh, fertile, I guess you could say. And there are more hills and the trees kind of change. We have a lot of these scrub oaks right here um, not really good for building a tree house but you know they do add something to the landscape not a whole lot i really kind of hate them myself but anyway we do have hills it's nice and green right now thanks to all of the grass there's some of the red dirt right there see okay now we are coming up on some construction they're redoing the uh, interstate right here and when we get there i'll show you some really red dirt if I remember right. All right, here's a great example. Look how red the dirt is. Can you see? Here we go. Yeah, look at that. Not black at all. It's almost an orange color. Yep, Oklahoma, land of the red man and the red dirt. Look at that. But it changes where we're headed. It gets kind of pretty. Anybody know? Any Oklahomans? Probably, yeah. We're on I-44 going up the turnpike. Headed to T-Town. There's a clue. T-Town. Living on T-Town time. Yeah, you know the song? Aha. <laughs> All right. Stay tuned. More to come. We are about 70 miles from uh, where we were last time we talked. I guess that's a good way to put it. I thought I'd give you a little picture of what it's like coming into T-Town. Have you figured it out? Yeah, it wasn't difficult. Tulsa. Yeah, we're coming up on Tulsa. You got to get to Sepulpa first and then you get to Tulsa. We're going up a little hill and I wanted to show you um, how it's a little bit different in northeastern Oklahoma than it is in central Oklahoma. If you take a look over there, you can kind of see how the dirt is changing. Okay, it's not so orange or red anymore. It's a little gray and soon it'll start getting darker, almost the black soil that you are... Uh, used to we have some hills and some valleys let me see if i can get in front of this truck right here and kind of show you a little bit more but i think this is a gorgeous part of the state right here and if you go further north then you're going to get into the grand lake area which is beautiful okay lots of big homes on the lake there one of my favorite parts of oklahoma but you can kind of see we're getting a little more hilly not as flat as Oklahoma City. The trees are a little bit different, a little bit more like uh, Western Arkansas. Okay, there we are. There's a look. There's a look at the scenes over there. Oh, and I just missed a cool barn. 
I could have shown you. Okay, so we got about 20 more minutes and then we will be arriving. So uh, stay tuned. You figured out what kind of a car we're getting. Have you Googled it yet? Yeah, Johnny Carson and car. And I guarantee you, you'll see what I mean. Okay, stay with us. Ha, we're back. Yeah, we made it over the hill. And if you see, you can see the outline way, way, way there on the horizon. Yeah, downtown Tulsa. Here we come. A little more hilly. A little bit different. This isn't really the pretty side. This is the industrial side of Tulsa as you kind of come in from the uh, west right there. You got the train tracks and a lot of uh, plants and stuff like that. Uh, doesn't really smell the best, I guess. But then you get into uh, Tulsa proper and it's kind of pretty. We'll show you some more sights and sounds. Sights and sounds. Sight, sight. And there she is. Look at that, isn't that kind of pretty? Downtown Tulsa, you got the uh, Arkansas River right there. There's a huge park right there, some really cool houses and uh, condos and apartments right there. But this is downtown T-Town, Tulsa Town, old, old oil town here in Oklahoma. I just thought I'd give you a quick little view of the buildings. I hope it's uh, coming through on the camera here because I'm trying to drive. You know how I like to film and drive and then crash into somebody, so yeah. Isn't that nice? Very pretty. Okay, let's go get a car. Okay, are you ready? There's a little, oh, it's a tease. Oh, yeah, baby. There it is. It's a 1990 560 SEC. Johnny Carson had a white one and he drove it everywhere and everybody loved it. And I had an older one of these that I just loved. And so when I saw this on, on the Facebook, I just had to jump in. Okay, so what's wrong with it? Well, inside looks good. A couple of crash cracks on the dash right there. I think it looks pretty good right here. The issue is the transmission. There's no reverse. So how am I gonna get it off of this thing? I don't know, I haven't thought that far ahead, but take a look at how pretty. I gotta think of a name for this car because this is definitely gonna be a little keeper. There you go, 560 SEC. This is back when Mercedes was a Mercedes and they were gorgeous and these things were built like tanks couple of issues with the wheel right there but the body panels and everything else look pretty doggone good so we're going to try to get this home as soon as possible and then we're going to figure out how we're going to get it off of that because i'm by myself right now so we're going to see what can we do all right can we have a little prayer da, 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 as we go home to oklahoma city all right here we we're go. almost back to uh oklahoma city and i gotta tell you i keep looking out the rear view mirror i don't know if you can see it right there but she's looking pretty yeah, she's a pretty car. She's so pretty. She's a pretty. Oh, wow. Okay, so anyway, yeah, I got a little sweaty putting the car on the car dolly, but that's okay. So when we get to the house, we're going to uh, figure out a way to get a car that won't go into reverse off of a tow dolly. I did just get a text from uh, Randy at Auto Auctions Rebuilds, and he gave me uh, an idea. So we're going to put his idea to the test, see if we can get that car off of the tow dolly when it doesn't have a reverse gear. Hmm, let's find out. Okay, we've made it home to the duck house. And look at the contraption. Oh, they call it the duck house. Because that is a rubber duck. I need to trim it, but it's a rubber duck. And there's a duck living in the backyard. Okay, so since I'm by myself, what I'm gonna try to do is a dismount, okay? This car does not have a reverse gear. Ha! So, what I have been told to do, okay, Randy from Auto Auction Rebuilds, thank you very much. Chain it to that car, okay? So it can't go forward. I got some things under the wheels, some very scientific wheel chucks right there. I have the ramp ready to go. I've got the seat belt kind of holding the steering wheel in place there, and I've got everything loose up front. So what do you think is gonna happen, huh? Yeah, we're gonna try to pull the car dolly right out from under the car. And hopefully it'll just go shoop like that. And all should be well, right? Well, let's find out if this is gonna work. Time for another prayer. You ready? Remember the prayer I used to do? Okay, take a moment. 
and let's give it a shot. Here we go. Well, how'd he do? Look at that. It actually worked. I don't even believe it. Randy, you the bomb. That's amazing. And now that I'm a little taller, I can see just how crappy this roof is. Oh, well, that's okay. But look at her. Look how pretty she is. So we'll just roll her backwards, hopefully start her up, park her right there. But look, it actually worked just like surgery, plastic surgery. Yeah, if I was, the joke is if I was smart, I would have been a plastic surgeon. I'm not, so I get to fix up these and make them look better. All right, so we're going to uh, take a break. Maybe I'll wash her after I return the truck, and then we'll end the video. Yay, me. Well, the duck is smiling down upon me. The duck needs a trim. I need to trim my duck bush. Duck bush, you gotta be careful when you say that. But look, she actually, she went into gear and I drove her up here, you know, the 30 feet that it was. She only died twice, so it was 10 feet die, 10 feet die, 10 feet, you're home. So here she is. Once again, this is a 1990 Mercedes 560 SEC. I don't know how long she has been sitting. The battery had a 2012 date on her. Um, it was sold at some kind of an auction to a group that I bought it from. Oh look, they even wrote Dex Cool Only. Ha! Huh. Okay, but body-wise, she's in pretty good shape. <whistles> these little things are very expensive, so I'm glad these are here. This one has a little chunk taken out of it, so depending on how she comes back to life, we'll see if we replace that or not. I do need to touch up the paint on the bumpers a little bit. Of course, new tires. That will shine up. This is the issue. No reverse. Yeah, we know that, but once again, Randy, you are the man. Thank you so much for that. Okay, let's take a look on the inside. See, this is the best part. It's this super heavy, oh, the battery, here we go. Ugh. Heavy duty leather, this stuff just lasts forever. Look how pretty. And I like all the little, what do you call those, accoutrements? Yeah, for the headliner, that's fancy. I need some Christmas lights. I can hang Christmas lights on those. No, we'll fix that, we'll make that nice. But look at this, the leather, it's gorgeous. The uh, <laughs> carpet, well, I don't know. We might try one of those little steamer things that goes like that. We'll give that a shot. Door cards look good. Let me show you the dash. 173, 923 miles. I don't even know if that works, who knows. Um, but these are in good shape. You can actually repaint the needles there so they look brand new. Uh, there's no cracks on the dash, that's good. The wood, well, we're missing the, um, oh look, here it is. Okay, well, we're not. Okay, yeah, here's your ashtray. The original radio, easy removal. Oh, it's been repaired. Hala, La Hala Audio, oh, look at that, this car came from Maybe from California, IA. I don't know. We'll see. What's under here? Oh, the holder for the the radio. I got this. What is this? I got a long cord. And what is this? Oh, old school Pioneer. What is this? I guess a CD. Pause mode power. Look at that. I don't know if this works or not. We'll have to give that a try. Okay. But that door card looks good. That seat looks really, really good. I do have some of the good oil that you can put on the seats and then cover them with the trash bag and make them look brand new. So this car is going to get the treatment. It is going to get, well, I'm missing. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. I can't see where I'm going or where I've been. So we'll have to look for one of those. And there's a big crack on the windshield. So paint the top, replace the windshield, work on this, tires, transmission, sparks, plugs, wires. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, so I hope you like this because this is gonna be the star of several videos, okay? And see, look again, just like the new CL, you have a nice little chrome piece right there. In fact, let's do that. Let's kind of compare. That might be a whole nother video. Look, this was the gentleman's S-Class. 
in 1990, which a lot of people love, this is the gentleman's S-Class from the 2000. This is a 2002 and a 2003. Much more curved. It has all the high-tech gidgets and gasmos that were there in that time. But this is the bomb right here. This is when Mercedes was Mercedes. This is the good stuff. Okay, I gotta fix that right there. And let me show you the transmission. Yeah, so that was in the back of the truck. They threw in the transmission for free. Voila! Look at that. I hope that I hope it works. They said that it does. I hope it's the right kind. They said it was. Um, so we'll have to see what all it entails to put that in. It wasn't super heavy. I actually lifted it by myself. Maybe that's why I'm out of breath. You know, even even being 35. <laughs> yeah, 35. Yeah, that's a lot of weight to lift. Okay, so. Maybe not 35, but anyway, there it is, okay? And there she is, love it. And that, my friends, is going to wrap up another video. Thank you for watching. My name is Bunky Wrench Mike. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Subscriptions are going up, views are going up, and somebody just passed that magic 4,000 watch hour number. Here yeah. comes the Show money. me the coin. That's here what they say, right? Show me the coin. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll have more videos coming up very, very soon. Have a great day, everybody, and I do mean that.